So that mostly leaves the river navigable. At least by Minecraft standards. And then where is this? This is here. Alright. And then that is there. sit on like it kind of sits on the ground but it kind of doesn't all right great that and then that and that sits on the ground okay so at this point let us consider a truss let us consider two three four maybe one taller what if we what is that one two three four five six two three four five six Why don't we stick that up? One, two, three, four, five, six. Problem is that there's no equivalent on the other side, at least not yet. But maybe we can make one. Two, three, four, five, six. or five maybe six is too much one two three four five six I mean this is awkward because that's in the way The idea is <laughs> it's gonna frame the track where the bridge is.
Might have to move the redstone a little bit. Oops. Uh, and then we... Slide our way down to there. How pessimistic am I about the world situation? I am not pessim. I mean, absurdity, no hope. Uh, absurdity. How pessimistic am I? I. I'm not sure if the way I'm reading your question is the same as what you intend. The world situation right now does have a, a number of serious issues, but I'm not pessimistic about it. Because there are still a lot of things that can be done about the world situation. But I'm not sure if that's what you're asking, really. Uh, let's see that. Because isn't what you're asking more like... What is my assessment of the world situation in terms of uh, whether it's good or bad? Because optimism is pessimism is the attitude you take. Whereas like a, a good or bad is a, an assessment of the situation. The attitude I take is optimistic. But I assess the situation as bad. <laughs> One and two. Let's see, and then one, two, three, and oh wait, no, one, and then up. So that's fine, right? Like if I do that, that doesn't reset everything because I'm missing redstone there. That resets everything. That needs to be there. And then the last one we don't touch. This is going to be strange here as well. I might have to adjust how this goes in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Absurdity says, for example, about climate change. Um, it appears with climate change that we are behind schedule. And I do not think that we can quite make up. I don't think we will respond quite in time, so I think uh, quite a few people will die to climate change. But I do believe we will eventually deal with it. How many people do I think will die to climate change before we fix it? Uh, I think on the scale of hundreds of thousands to millions will die from direct and indirect effects of climate change before we fix it. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully in the hundreds of thousands area and not in the millions area. But I mean, I'm guessing, right? I'm guessing based on what I know, so don't, don't think I'm some sort of oracle who can see the future or anything. I can't see the future. I'm just guessing. Four, five, and six. Two, three, four, five, and six. But it's not, for example, going to lead to our extinction as a species. Well, not that it's uh, any consolation for the people who are gonna die. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I mean, if millions of people die, that is about... Oh, wait a minute. There's no column here. Oh, there's no column here. I will put a column here. That is uh, comparable to a world war already, right? So it's not like it's a walk in the park or anything. I forgot how I did the other side. Absurdity says, in my opinion, there won't be action until it seriously affects the Western populace, and by that time, there will be many more climate refugees. Given how my country reacts to relatively tiny immigrants, okay, that will be pretty bad. Yes, but it is already affecting the Western populace. Uh, whether or not people are aware of it is a is a different issue. I mean. Like the campfire, and you know, uh, California, like paradise going up in flames in paradise. Poetic, by the way, paradise going up in flames. Um, you know, stuff like that's already happening. Florida's already going under the ocean, like there's regular flooding in Florida. So it's not like it's not happening already. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we end here somehow. One, two, and... I guess there, and then we go down. Like that. Like it wouldn't be that long before Americans are climate refugees. Refugees doesn't just mean people moving from one country to another. You can be a refugee inside your own country. Like, America already has climate refugees. <laughs> Every time there's a hurricane. Oh crap, that cuts it off? Oh, I did this wrong. That should be there. Uh, yeah, no, absurdity. America is uh, going to be especially affected because of how poorly they are responding, or really how they're not responding to climate change. I think we have to understand that... I mean, climate change is bad, but there are things we can do about it. 
for example, um, preparing for the refugees, or preparing for sea level rise, or preparing for hotter climates. So if if a country takes those steps to prepare, they're going to be significantly less harmed when it hits them, and they'll be much better off. Okay, so now the plan is to also straddle like that. And the fact that uh, the American industry and government tends to deny climate change and not do anything in response, that is going to make them a lot less prepared for the effects. I don't know if I should do this. Let me just look at where this goes. No, I'm not going to do that one. But all this is choice, right? This is all whether people choose to act or not. For example, if uh, within the next two years or so they get rid of Trump and they elect a different president who enacts, for example, the Green New Deal, then uh, climate change may be especially less bad. Or, uh, uh, significantly less bad in the United States. Absolutely says all the denialist, denialist propaganda is a serious issue. It is a serious issue. But propaganda is propaganda. It only is a problem if people believe it. <laughs> Which, I mean, people do, that's a problem. But what I'm trying to say is the propaganda doesn't do anything, right? The propaganda is specifically a lack of action, as it were. It's when you do something that things change. I don't know if that makes any sense. What I'm trying to say is uh, action is more important or less, is more significant than inaction. And it, there is a some cause for optimism, seeing that the Green New Deal is gathering momentum and support, for example. So it's not all bad, right? Even though there is a lot of bad, I just realized that this is not going to line up. <laughs> And I think I don't do anything about it. I think I just do that. There, and that's it. Alright, and there's our trust. <laughs> there's, the, there's the trust bridge. Which... I guess it's okay, it's not that amazing. Alright, let's put some lights in here to make it a little prettier, a little less ugly.